Oh, the colors slowly coming in. Hey, <sighs> what's up, guys? Russ with RWG Research here. Grease Petty also uh, research. So long week. Things didn't quite go as I thought they would. I did get a lot done, but not necessarily on my projects. Um, got a uh, my dad got a garage door for uh, for free, an old one, and uh, it looks brand new. Actually, some of the panels are brand new. Some minor scratches in them, and I uh, got it for free, so installed that in my garage. So hopefully, that'll be a little nicer than my old junky wooden uh, nasty thing that I had. But anyway, let's get started. So today I didn't, uh, or this week I didn't really get done what I wanted to. Didn't get to wrap any coils and stuff, but I did get to build a new power supply for my um, burn rate testing and lots of other things. Basically, it's a battery charger, but I've actually taken about eight different devices and turned it into what I have now. So I'm going to show you what this is. This is my new power supply. Um, it basically consists of the big boy transformer and what that is is an old battery charger transformer. Um, 12 volt, 6 volt battery charger transformer. You can see how big it is over here. Uh, it's a pretty good size transformer. Um, this is about 8 inches by 19 inches long uh, stainless steel box I had out of an old printer took apart and hanging on to it for a while and finally got a chance to use it so it worked out real well uh, I know some of you are already thinking why is the handle off to the side that's because that's where it's balanced if I were to put it in the middle I'd be carrying it like this all day so anyway in case you were wondering uh, yeah so on this side we have our outputs and uh, basically these really nice twist lock terminals. I seem to find these in the trash everywhere at work. Uh, they just go buy something and throw them out so I collect them. Got a few of them still. Uh, power going in, uh, hot ground coming out for 6 volt, 12 volt. I got a really nice fan here. Uh, 120 volt out of something else I took apart. This nameplate was actually already on here and uh, yeah, that's interesting. But anyway, uh, the back side is just a, a plate. Nothing fancy back there. Uh, the front is plexiglass, as you can see. So basically, uh, I've got a 12 volt, 6 volt battery charger sp supply. Now, what I did do, and I got to add some feet on here, but I want to be able to use this box like this so I can set it on my table. Um, really, that's what I kind of wanted to do in the first place. Now, what I'm going to show you is down inside here there are two diodes okay some of you who saw me last week uh, live uh, Monday or Tuesday I don't know what day does uh, I was messing around with this bad boy uh, this is also out of a battery charger it weighs a ton uh, the wire on here is uh, aluminum so it's a pretty light transformer this is all copper and steel big old thing I was messing around and uh, trying to see how many amps I could pull and yeah this happened um, I was kind of expecting it but just shorted it out to see what kind of amps I was pulling on the primary I was pulling past 20 on the primary I was only like 3 volts it just melted the sucker so anyway that's actually like a 480 volt 240 volt transformer so it didn't quite work for my application but I did happen to get this now this uh, power supply this is all made out of junk, as you can see, built entirely out of junk. And um, I gotta hurry up. I'm gonna run out of time. This transformer was a junked uh, battery charger. This is the original switch for it. It had a high 6 volt, low 12 volt, low high volt, and a 12 volt star. This is a 200 amp output here. I think this is 60, 40, or 40, 20. I don't know. And this is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I, I couldn't tell. Now this is actually out of a 400, uh, or excuse me, 240 volt battery charger. And uh, basically what it is, is it's uh, in the back here, there's a motor. And that motor turns this timer with uh, 120 volt AC. Now originally that was 230 volt. And I found a new adapter from some junk I had and re-put it on there and now I have 120 volt. So it actually used to be for a higher voltage. Um, this uh, knob controls the power coming out to the fan, transformer, and your output. 
and then this knob turns it on or off depending on what setting you have. Uh, the diodes you see back here are out of a transformer really similar to this, a 48 volt battery charger. Big big old things. I got the ones I had out in my garage that time I took apart. Uh, this came out of uh, an alternator tester. Uh, battery fill sent that to me a while back. Here's the amps one. I couldn't use it because it only goes to 10. But I was able to use that. It looks real nice. This is actually out of a other big 48 volt uh, battery charger. Real nice little thing. It's, it's actually running on a... Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's actually running on a, uh, yeah, what they call a, uh, oh darn, I can't think, uh, uh, like this. Basically, it's a, a resistance, and they measure that resistance during a voltage. So this is actually an, an analog voltmeter, and it reads the voltage across the uh, setup here that's already... Uh, pre-calibrated to what you're doing for this meter so you're actually measuring voltage when you're using an amp meter this big because you're not going to run 200 amps or 100 amps through a little tiny meter like this oh that's going to bug me I can't think of it anyway uh, a shunt this is a shunt thank you oh it's difficult so let's go ahead and uh, yeah this whole thing's junk though it's all made out of junk I'm going to I'm going to uh, set this down. Now one thing I want to show you on this bad boy uh, was I added this little filter material here. Um, it's just a piece of plastic with an o-ring and I compressed a uh, piece of cotton in here. It actually collects the junk and it also uh, tries to, the reason I did this mainly was to keep the bubbles on top and circulating back up to the top and that way I can separate the two. So I'll go ahead and set the camera down. This should be about the right angle. And we'll hook this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this pump on. Oh, I gotta turn the power on. There we go. All right, pump is on. Uh, and then I'm just gonna attach this here. These cords are very short, but it's actually kind of what I had. So we'll get this hooked up to here. And here. Okay. So, nice vortex going on there. I believe you guys can see the vortex. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this on 6 volt high. See what kind of amps I'm pulling. See what kind of gas I'm producing. I actually have not done this yet, so this will be interesting. Alright, so about 10 amps, 6 volts. And a small amount of gas, not much. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip it to. Uh, 12 volt low and see what I get. About 10 amps. A little bit more voltage this time. So let's go 12 volt high. Alright, 20 amps at a 11 and a half volt, which this isn't uh, quite what you're used to, so it's it's different. Uh, another thing I gotta fix is this vortex tube is pushing air down here. Because I, I redesigned it a little different and it raises the air up. Uh, what happens is the vortex actually creates a tunnel down to the bottom. And I'm going to let that flow back down there like that. Uh, let's see. Let that water drain back down. But the water is being forced up through the top tube now because I don't have the right, uh, I don't have enough flow through this bottom. And I actually will be uh, uh, putting a little bitty tube in that cap to push water back down. I moved it, and now it's not forcing water down one tube back here. So I gotta kind of play with that. All right, I'm gonna turn this back on, and uh, hopefully that'll help it out here. But what what happens is once you get a vortex tube, all the air goes down to the bottom, and it pushes the water up, and the air goes to the bottom. It's really kind of interesting. Uh, it's something I gotta play with. So there's 12 volt high, a little less than 20 amps. And uh, let's go ahead and switch it to start and see what we get. Should actually be a little bit more, but we're only gonna pull as much as what this water will take. So if we added uh, sodium hydroxide or KNOH or whatever it is, if I added a bunch to it, then this amp which would sky high. So, 
there you go. Pretty cool little deal. Nice little power supply though. I can just pick it up and carry it around. It's not really that heavy because the transform is aluminum. So it's pretty cool. See here you can see how I'm pushing bubbles up the top. That's because I I gotta switch that back down to the bottom. Put it back where I had it. I, I had it differently and I gotta move it back now. Water's working really good because I the tube that's inside of here uh, was forcing water down one of these tubes and it kept the pressure right. So here you can see uh, the dirty nasty water versus the the much more clear water and that's what that filter does. Go ahead and turn this back on. You kind of see the big bubbles staying up top. Now the little ones do still go through this material and I'm trying to figure out a good way to fix that but the majority of them do collect up here and uh, it's pretty cool to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this gas pressure off and we'll watch this clear up here. It's kind of hard to see now the different colors but once you get all these bubbles out of here you'll see a big difference. There's the the vortex. It's interesting because as soon as that air bubble is in there, there's actually air sitting down here under that water. It's kind of unique. Um, the way the, the water actually forms inside there. And you can't really tell the difference, but you can see the bubbles. There's not really many down here and a whole bunch right there. So my material in here is kind of a filter. And it's also trying to separate the big bubbles and trying to keep them in that top chamber and then make them go back up these back two tubes back into the top. But yeah, what I, if you guys build one of these or something, um, you might want to make sure you get a little bit of pressure here and force it down this tube because um, that seemed to have a big impact on how this functioned. Um, but yeah. I'm going to turn this back on real quick and we'll probably have a bunch of uh, stuff being forced out the top. So I'll turn it off real quick. Oh, it's a nice looking vortex. It's really cool to watch the, uh, the bubbles come out of there when it's slowing down. Alright, we'll turn it back on. Turn this power supply on. And, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is turn the uh, power supply off and turn this off. What I want you to do is watch how the, watch what it looks like here. It's really cool. Uh, it's not... Not quite doing exactly what I was seeing last time there. There it's kind of doing it. See there's still vortexing down there and the little bitty bubbles are coming out of it. There you go, now you can see it. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, well I got about a minute left. Um, I wanted to do, also tell you guys, thanks for all the uh, efforts and pushing towards my uh, burn rate testing and trying to tell me what to do and stuff uh, a lot of good information now one thing I do want to tell you guys is I, I already do understand that the pressure needs to be higher for it not to flash back but I'm testing the flashback so you kinda have to do that um, so there's multiple reasons one is definitely gas pressure um, Blaine good buddy Blaine finally got a uh, nice meter for me this was like a dollar and then like five bucks shipped uh, he's keeping an eye out. If you guys have any flow meters like this, I know this is for oxygen, it's a little different, but if you guys have any flow meters like this that, that you can get a hold of, please let me know. Um, I'll even give you a couple bucks for it or, or a little more. But Alright, well my time is probably almost out. i got about 20 seconds. Peace and love guys. Thank you. Enjoy. I'll see you guys next week. I, won't be, I will not be live this weekend. We'll do it next week. Maybe. It's Christmas. We'll figure it out. Keep in touch. Bye.